All right, and Glizzy, glad to have you on my show. What's good? Man, grinding, man. I see you out there, man, uh, doing your thing. Trying to make a living, cuz. I hear you. I hear you, man. You've been making a lot of noise lately on the internet. Uh, you know, going viral. Uh, several different situations, man. We'll, we'll, we'll uh, get into a few of them. Let's talk about it. So, I want to say, like, the first thing that happened was King Yellow was on my show. And he said that in prison, DC guys are gay. And this kind of kicked everything off. And you kind of started going off on Chicago and the whole 63rd and Diss and Duck and Yella. And, you know, you got into it with Rico Reckless. You know, uh, what's what's going on with everything? First of all, King Yella, he said my name after the end of that statement. He said my homeboy, my partner in D.C. and Glizzy going to be mad at me. So if, if you feel like I'm going to be mad at you, why would you say it? And another thing is, they didn't even ask nothing about DC. They asked him about Lil J in Chicago. He ain't had to put that question in there at all. That was something he thought about, like, I'm going to go do an interview, and this time I'm going to just bring this up and say something about Aunt Lizzie just to get an algorithm and, I guess, just get his Instagram or his YouTube lit once I say something about him. But it's like, he say DC guys this in prison and that in prison. And then DC niggas, they gangster homos, bro. Like, they, nigga, I'll kill you and you in your ass, they gonna tell you that. Um, that's what I said, Lil J, you might as well did be a DC nigga. He might as well move to DC when he get out. That's f***ed up, the capital gay like that. <laughs> My nigga Aunt Glizzy gonna be hella mad. What the f Damn, Slim. <laughs> <laughs> he only know cause he been to prison. I never been to prison, I never been to jail. I don't know what happened behind a jail wall. If DC guys are gay in jail, you been there to witness it. I haven't been there to witness it. I don't even know what goes on in jail. I've never been there. But it was more so he said Aunt Glizzy connected to the DC gay guy. So it's like, okay, I'm going to connect them to your name. What Chicago be on? Chicago be on talking to Rock of Dead Homies. Who his dead homie? Duck. And that's just what happened. I just took off on him. Like, don't say my name. Like, Chicago is known for one of them gangster cities on the documentaries, and everybody's scared of them, and they fear them. It's like nothing in Chicago is scared of it. It's like Chicago and L.A., that's their culture. Their culture only exists in their world. Like, like, it doesn't matter. I'm Big C. I'm the biggest I'm the biggest crip out right now, and I've only been cripping for six days. I'm six days cripping, and I'm the biggest crip on the Internet. There's no crip on the Internet bigger than me. But you got into it with several different guys, even Rico Reckless. That's because they trying to take up for their home turf. They trying to take up for Chicago and keep the image, I guess. But it's like, I ain't never say nothing to them. Rico Records, they all going to use my name because my name is a hot topic. Once you say my name, you get traction. on like Your stuff start moving. Your, your numbers, your, your Instagrams, your YouTube start moving. You get phone calls. You start feeling important again. They just trying to catch their moment. But Rico Records... First of all, before YouTube, I come from the streets. I ain't no YouTuber. I came from outside. I was outside before Instagram. Like, I ain't just get created on Instagram. It might seem like that. They try to be, portray an image. I don't even, I'm trying to, all right, they want to portray an image of a street guy. I'm trying to get rid of the street guy image. I don't want to be known as no street guy. I don't want to be known. That I don't care about none of that at all. Real street guys leave the hood and don't want to talk about it ever again. They live on it. Brand, they cherish it. I don't want to, I don't want the kids to know about the street. Like I don't care about the street. I love the suburban and life better. It's I breathe different. I walk different. I only got to worry about these kids or worry about these guys. Rico Reckless. His last name is Reckless. He couldn't be in a business meeting. He couldn't be important. He couldn't like he couldn't stand for nothing just off his name. Like he Rico Reckless. Who wants to do business or be around Rico Reckless? He's a nobody. And he's talking about spitting and butts and all type of weird. First of all, Chicago got the booty munchers, the guys that they, they put their nose by your butt, like they smell your butt and spit in it. That's some Chicago. I never heard that nowhere in my life but Chicago. Like, I can't make this up. And then they mad that I'm dissing Chicago. Just think about this. Duck died. Butter told on the guys that killed Duck. They all became YouTubers, the guys that was left. The robbers died. And then the guy who allegedly got them killed... The guy who died, best friend, went over there and offered him some Syria. Jay Main went to King Von Miro and tried to peace offering behind some Fruit Loops. 
Duck because compared to a box of whoops, they over whooped them. I'm just saying, it don't make sense. So how can they talk about me? King Von is a lot uh, is on FBI paperwork saying he put a hit out on such and such. And Jay Main took him some cereal. I don't take Chicago serious. Chicago don't stand for nothing. Chicago, if Chicago watching this, y'all, y'all tough ass, jump out them YouTube screens on the motherfucking documentaries and do something. Other than that, they be trying to like cyber bully you. They just they gang up, they come together, and they just try to make Chicago seem so, 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 so tough. It's like, bruh, I only know Chicago niggas for dying. Like, y'all the most dyingest motherfuckers I've ever seen in my life. I swear to God, Chicago is known for dying. They all get on and die. We know them for, we only get six months to enjoy them. If somebody blew up in Chicago, he got six months. You can set the time. But when that joke is 180 days, it's going to be long live him. Chicago, tell him I said it. I only liked the Chicago when they had D-Rose and Michael Jordan. What's up? This is Cam Capone. We got more content like this coming soon. So hit that like button, subscribe, and stay locked in to Cam Capone News.